my, my deepest gratitude to all the truckers and all the participants in the Freedom Convoy uh, 2022. This moment really is incredible. Over the last two years, uh, we've been in a very dark place in Canada. And honestly, it was getting darker. Um, the censorship of doctors from denying patients early treatment for COVID um, and, and so many deaths and harms that I've seen from, from these public health measures that were forced upon people against their will. Whether uh, it's the elderly who are locked up in hospitals and long-term care uh, who died from loneliness and neglect uh, to uh, so many people who were forced into getting these vaccines, let alone all the people who were deceived uh, and not given that informed consent about the risks. But this moment really is incredible. I've never seen our country so united. Just in, in my small town of 1500, I've never seen so many people gathered along the highway, so proudly waving Canadian flags and just so proud and happy uh, to see these truckers pass through our town. And it was huge. It was a huge convoy. People are starting to see through the propaganda. In my small town here, which again is over 80% vaxxed uh, in my area, and over 93% of the respondents to the poll all supported the truckers. They're, they're going to convince you that you're a fringe minority, but you're not. And the reason I say that is, is because so many people were forced into the vaccine. We are the majority of people who want choice, who want autonomy, who want to be able to make their own decisions about their own body. And that's what you guys are standing for. You guys are shining, shining that light. And that's why they're scared. So don't be afraid when they smear you. Don't be afraid when they attack because we are winning and keep it up. So thank you so much for all you're doing. Uh, your light is shining through and, and, uh, and we're going to win this.